दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट इंजन सिमुलेशन इन द कोल्ड शिप कंडीशन कोल्ड शिप कंडीशन मीन्स अवर शिप इज इन ब्लैकआउट कंडीशन प्लस अवर एमरजेंसी जनरेटर इज ऑल्सो नॉट वर्किंग सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू स्टार्ट अवर एमरजेंसी जनरेटर देन वी हैव टू गिव द सप्लाईज टू स्टार्टर्स एंड फीडर्स देन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट अवर फर्स्ट जनरेटर देन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट अवर सेकेंड जनरेटर इनिशियली वैन द सिस्टम कम्स द स्क्रीन शुड बी लाइक दिस आफ्टर दैट वैन वी स्टार्ट द प्रोसीजर वी हैव टू गो टू प्रोसेस डायरेक्टरी वी हैव टू गो टू एमरजेंसी जनरेटर नाउ वी हैव टू स्टार्ट अवर एमरजेंसी जनरेटर सो अवर फर्स्ट स्टेप शुड बी दिस इज फॉर बैटरी दिस इंजन कंट्रोल एंड दिस इज फॉर हाइड्रोलिक पम्प सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आई विल क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट बटन फ्रॉम द बैटरी सो अवर इंजन विल स्टार्ट पिकिंग अप द आर पी एम सो वी विल वेट फॉर दिस अंटिल इट विल अटेन ए कॉन्स्टेंट आर पी एम इट इज़ पिकिंग अप आर पी एम आई थिंक इट विल पिक अप टिल एटीन हंड्रेड एटीन हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स और समथिंग वी विल वेट टिल दैट सी नाउ आवर आर पी एम इज ऑलमोस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट सो आफ्टर ओन आवर एमरजेंसी जनरेटर इज नाउ रनिंग सो आफ्टर दिस वी विल गो टू द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर प्लांट then we will own the voltage control and then we will own the breaker okay so our emergency generator is connected to our bus bar so now we will give the supplies the supplies which are going from the emergency switchboard in the lab we have to do all this thing within 20 minutes we have to uh, switch off all the alarms this is this ready is for the uh your transformer it is step downing the voltage we have to leave this pair we will not own this pair from uh, top 440 volt is converted with the help of this transformer into 220 volts and it is coming and this one is rectifier battery charges uh, they written na it is rectifier so after on all this our uh emergency generator work is over now we are good to go with our starting of diesel generator 1 so we'll click on diesel generator 1 and this screen will appear so after that first we will on the fuel oil supply these two volts we will increase the level of the lube oil in the lube oil sump it should be nearly above 70 70 75 then we will close this valve so we will wait till 70 but till then we can own this lube oil pump also first we have to open this valve which is going to the filters and after that it will go to the directly to the main engine so we will own one uh, pump any one of them it is 60 we will wait for 70 we have to do uh, five to seven things so now i have closed this valve keep remember from left uh, click we have to own the valve and from the right click we can off the valve so in this screen we have done all the things we have owned both the valves we have uh, start, start started the lube oil pump we have uh, uh, maintained the level of uh, lube oil in the sump now we can go to the starter system here we can uh, drain these two valves and then we can start the emergency compressor also and now this will become red so we will close this after closing we will own the filling valve to the emergency bottle and this alarm is coming so we can silent this alarm at the last we will atta attend all the alarm but till then we can silent it then we can go to process directory then fuel oil service tanks we have owned the valves for the service tank but we haven't owned the from the service tank diesel oil tank so we have to first open this quick closing valve then we have to open this no return valve so till now we have done five steps our sixth step is go to sea water system and we have to own this valve for the low suction sea chest and then we will own this auxiliary pump and the valves which is going in this line we have to own these all these valves this valve this valve uh these two valves and then this valve and this return valve also okay after that again we have to go to panel directory and go to one another Uh, alarm is coming silence then fresh water system then we will own this pump and we will open all these valves
now we will start this pump also okay so this part is also completed so here our all parameters are on the mark our diesel generator is ready to start but before that our starting a system let's see what is the pressure pressure is 5.57 we have to wait till 10 bar after 10 bar only we can uh, open this uh, discharge valve which is going to diesel generator 1 and diesel generator 2 so we have to wait till 10 bar pressure so till now we have on the lube oil pump lube oil level in the sump we have on the valves that are going to the filters we have on uh, open the valve from the service oil tank uh, quick closing valve and our non return valve then we have on the sea water supply and uh, fresh water supply and we have on the emergency compressor for the starting air so these all things we have done after that we will start our diesel generator one so on the exam if we own one generator then i think we can easily get 50 more than 50 marks So it is So now uh, pressure is about 10 bar so we can open this wall and this wall also open these both walls now we can go to DG1 so now our diesel generator is ready to start now we will start our diesel generator 1 now we will see if it is starting yeah it is taking the RPM so now we can synchronize it we can go to panel directory here we can go to main switchboard diesel generator 1 there is a synchroscope we will click on this we will click on excitation then we, then we will click on dg1 after that we will connect the circuit so both these green lines are coming in both part so this means it is well synchronized then we will go to electric power plant we will own this breaker so after own this breaker we have to always remember that two pumps two seawater pumps they will close automatically so we have to again own these pumps one is this pump another one is uh, these two pumps that we have started in the beginning so after that our diesel generator one is running and uh, it is also connected to bus bar so now we can start our diesel generator two in diesel generator 2 before starting what checks we have to do first we have to fill the uh, lube oil level in the sump till 70 till then we can own this fuel oil valve diesel fuel oil valves this is going to pump this is going to filter so we own these valves and uh, fuel diesel fuel which is coming from the service tank we have already owned in the time of diesel generator 1 so no need to own that all our sea water fresh water pumps are already running our starting air is all already coming so we don't need to look to these things we only have to look these things which are on this screen now for diesel generator 2 so i will close this wall level is 72 now we can start the pump but before that we have to own this wall which is going to filters then we will uh, start this pump now we can start our diesel generator 2 so it is ready to start click on start button so let's see other is yeah it is taking the rpm so now we can go for the synchronizing now we are going to diesel generator 2 we will click on synchroscope then we will click on excitation then diesel generator 2 then we will wait for this to come on 11 this uh, red color marking when it come on 11 we will click on connection and it will stop on 12 so now our diesel generator 2 is in on load both are in parallel 
so now we have to go to electrical power plant we have to connect it to the bus bar so now it is also connected to the bus bar now we have to uh, give supply to the feeders and starters so from here we can we have to own all these buttons except spares and time is 12:45 i am telling you that's why it is taking little bit more time but you can easily do it within 13 to 14 minutes and rest 2 minutes you can take for uh, turning off your alarms so within 15 minutes uh, you can easily do this and we have 20 minutes in the main exam so in this uh, feeders we don't have any spares but in starters i think we have spares okay we have on all this so now we can go back and we can click on 07 uh, 072 we have done we have to click on 071 so now we will on this we have to leave these two spares uh spare means the switch that if any switch is not working so these are the spare switch we can replace them with that switch okay so we have given the uh, own all the switches now we can go to process directory so now we can again monitor our diesel generator 1 is running our diesel generator 2 is running fine so our work is almost complete now we have to go to the panel directory and then power 102 power chief pump compressor control now we have to click on 001 and we have to put uh into remote we will click on this l and it will come as r r means remote l means local so now we will put it on auto then we will come back and now it is ready so we can put it auto now we will click on this and now here also we will click on l it will become r and then auto and this also auto then back and then auto and auto now 001 in this we have to do some we have to open some valves like this valve then this valve which is going to your coolers then this valve then these two valves this valve then this valve okay and then your visco control here also we have to own uh, put it on auto okay maybe some problem can come in this because this is the most hectic one yeah your fuel oil circulation pumps so we have to put it on auto maybe they can blink see they started blinking means some problem is there we have to rectify the problem but what can be the problem we have to own some valve oh we forgot to put it on uh, remote so now we can put it on remote we will click on the l now see can we uh, again put it on auto uh, will the bl blink or not uh, this will start blinking but uh, this stops blinking so again open it let's see what is the problem in this mm. for this it will happen uh, let's see we have to open this one also now back now this will also start blinking in this we have to just uh, look up to this walls only just don't get very uh, got in stress like what will happen now nothing will trip from this but just try to open some walls now they stop stop blinking till now till that we can put this on auto ma auxiliary blowers now they stop blinking okay now we are good to go now we can go to start air compressor 
now we have to start these two compressors first we have to drain these two valves then we have to click on start now it will start now uh, when they come red we have to close them now we have to open this wall then we have to go to sec first one we have to open these two wall then on now when they become red we have to close them uh, this also then we have to close this wall now we don't need to look up to the pressure we will directly open this two filling wall and these two and this three discharge holes okay just that after that we can put one on auto and for second master and auto okay so then we have to uh, put in auto for emergency compressor also then for service air compressor we have to again uh, open these drain these two holes then start then they will become red and off them and open this filling wall this charge wall okay that's it now we can put this also on auto okay these are the steps now we can go to process directory electrical power plant and we can put on auto and, and stop or we can first stop and then put on auto now we have to off these alarms how to attend these alarms click on any alarm and this is right now just tap on this tap on this and tap on this like this and for alarm this tap on this tap on this like this this alarm will get off so when you off all the alarms you will get 100 out of 100 marks no worries it's very easy just remember the steps which we are we are done before owning the diesel generator one these are only the uh, main steps or the steps which we can forego after starting the diesel generator one now there are very less chances of mistake so only two alarms left they will also get off okay now our all alarms get off and now we have done this so we can easily get 100 marks in this and our emergency generator has now stopped our full load is on diesel generator 1 and diesel generator 2 so we will meet in the next video if you like the video click on the like button if you haven't subscribed the channel subscribe this channel and we will meet in the next video till then bye